Hello everyone, I'm Lynn Vaughn and this is Healthline. Fulton County's Health and Wellness Department is one of the largest public health service providers in the state of Georgia. Here on Healthline, we highlight what's going on in the world of public health. We talk about our accomplishments and our services, and we hope you find the information useful for you and your family. Healthline begins right now. And again, welcome to Healthline. Our first story is an update on the concentration of tuberculosis cases in the county at a number of downtown facilities that support homeless persons. Now, in the ongoing investigation that began in May, our health professionals have discovered several new cases of TB and added a fourth shelter to the list where the illness has occurred. FGTV's Priscilla Ortega reports on the measures the health department has in place to stem the spread of the disease. Screen for tuberculosis, treat those infected, and educate the public. That's what the county's health and wellness and department does to stop active TB cases. In high-risk areas like homeless shelters, we work with them on a regular basis, go out, screen their, their populations. They send people to us for certificates to get into the homeless shelters. And we regularly go out and have staff educate the volunteers and other people working in the shelters about tuberculosis. Most importantly, so that they can look out for people who may be exhibiting the symptoms. So far this year, there are 47 cases of active TB in the county and four suspected cases. During the same time last year, there were 27. This year, 29 of those 47 cases are associated with four downtown homeless shelters, including two people who volunteered at the shelter. Anyone diagnosed with active TB is reported to the health department. The health department then goes out Make sure that person is eating, get, either getting therapy from their own doctor and we monitor that or we bring the people in and we give them therapy at one of our uh, clinics in the health department. And we make sure the person is cured before they um, stop the, the therapy. Health officials say it takes long-term exposure to be at risk for developing the disease. But those exposed can get sick years later when they have a weakened immune system. So the health department is making sure people who could be infected aren't spreading germs. All cases of tuberculosis, either active or suspected, are taken out of the shelters and placed in housing. And we go and make sure that they take their medications every day. So there's no cases of tuberculosis that are left inside a shelter. We always take them out of that environment so there's no further exposure. The most common symptoms include persistent cough for weeks, night sweats, and fever. So if you are experiencing any of those symptoms, you can call any of the county health clinics for more information on treatment and testing. Reporting for FGTV, I'm Priscilla Ortega. The health department also wants to remind you to take precautions when you're outside as you enjoy the rest of the summer season. That's because mosquito samples in four communities have tested positive for West Nile virus. Now, a mosquito sample refers to a collection of mosquitoes from a particular area that is tested for the virus. Every week, the county tests 13 sites to check to see if the West Nile virus is present. The four sites which had positive samples were Grove Park and Washington Park in northwest Atlanta, in Midtown near the old Fourth Ward Skate Park, and at Perkerson Park in southwest Atlanta. The health department reports no one has tested positive for the disease. Environmental Health Services tells us that less than 1% of people who do become infected with the virus actually become ill. You may not know you have West Nile virus because it may, it, the symptoms really mimic uh, a fever. Mm -hmm. So if you have some ongoing fever-like symptoms or flu-like symptoms for more than a week, you really want to go to your doctor. If you have mosquito bites, go to your doctor and get them to test you for West Nile virus. 
Now, the county is continuing to larvicide areas where mosquitoes typically breed. To reduce your risk of having infected mosquitoes near your home, Environmental Health Services advises that you get rid of standing water, use EPA-approved insect repellent, and limit your time outside during dawn and dusk. Still to come on Healthline, it's one of the best things a mother can do for her child. Next, the health benefits of breastfeeding for both mom and baby. And welcome back to Healthline, I'm Lynn Vaughn. More mothers are breastfeeding in Georgia, though we are still a bit behind the national average. So the WIC program, that's Women, Infants, and Children program of Fulton County, is stepping up its efforts to encourage women to breastfeed. FGTV's Melissa Lewis has that story. Healthy for baby and healthy for mom. That's the message the Women, Infants, and Children's program of Fulton County is sharing about breastfeeding. All mothers need to bond with their baby just in that sense alone, just breastfeeding, even if you're only exclusively doing it for four weeks, just having that touch, that human touch, that skin to skin touch, that connection is important. It's, it's a lifelong journey. It's something that you'll never forget. It's something that you can't replace. It's, it's, it's only a mother and a child can have that. WIC peer breastfeeding counselors have been through the WIC program and have breastfed their children, so they know how much it can make a difference. I had a premature baby. She was two pounds. She needed the breast milk in order for her to survive. She needed that, that first uh, breast milk. She needed that to survive. She needed to help build her lungs up, to build her eyes up, to build her strength up. Just She needed this to, to survive, so and that was the reason why I did it. I had to do it for six months exclusively. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, breastfeeding reduces the mother's risk of developing breast and ovarian cancers. And for the baby, it can reduce the severity of many infectious diseases and lowers the risk of obesity later in life. And it also helps with the baby not having diaper rash. It helps stimulate the baby's uh, brain cells. It helps stimulate the baby's skin. Those are very helpful things for the babies. That's the first immunization that the baby will receive from the mother. WIC hopes more women breastfeed, so they have educational and entertaining videos about its benefits. The CDC says, in Georgia, 70% of newborns are breastfed. The national average is 79%. And only 20% of mothers are still breastfeeding at 12 months, compared to the national average of 26%. For more information on breastfeeding, contact one of the WIC offices, which are at our six county health clinics. Reporting for FGTV, I'm Melissa Lewis. A very important message for moms and babies. Now, copies of important birth and death documents are now easier to order. The county's health department is the keeper of those important statistics in what's called the Vital Records Office. Now, to make the office more customer friendly, you can order certified birth and death certificates online. In most cases, you can also order birth certificates from other counties in the state. Workers say the process is not only more convenient, but safe as well. Our residents and our customers are opportunity, and even those who are out of state, the opportunity to order online and um, have it delivered right to their home by UPS, or they can have an option of having it mailed to them as well. The online process takes about 10 minutes. The cost to order the certificates is $25 for the first copy, $5 for each additional copy. For more information, go to the Fulton County website, find the Department of Health and Wellness, and click on the Vital Records tab. You can also call 800-317-6654 for more information. Still to come on Healthline, a relaxing and healthy exercise. Up next, the popular yoga classes at the library. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Healthline. You know, when taken the wrong way, medications can cause more harm than good. 
That's the lesson seniors learned during a medication safety presentation at the Darnell Senior Multipurpose Facility. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, seniors are twice as likely to go to the emergency room for adverse drug effects. It could cause, you know, ultimately it could cause adverse reaction dizziness, which might make them at risk for falling. Um, also, um, it could just make them sick. They could face hospitalization or just be uncomfortable. Experts say write down all of the prescription and non-prescription drugs you take. Keep that information with you. Use a pill counter or pill pack so you know which medications you've taken that day. The Office of Aging hosted the seminar. For more information on programs and services for seniors, call the Star Line 404-613-6000-6000. And finally, Popular fitness classes at the library are helping people look and feel better. These hour-long yoga classes are available most Tuesdays at the Roswell Branch Library. The classes typically have about 20 people, but as many as 30 have participated at a time. Health professionals say yoga can help your flexibility, reduce stress, and depression, anxiety, insomnia, and pain. Yoga instructors say it's just an overall healthy way to exercise. One, two, Yoga, it just allows you to really kind of become in touch with your body and it allows you for a deeper relaxation, um, as well as the, you know, improving your joints and your circulation and, and all that. The classes involve stretching and meditation. The library system has a number of health and fitness classes. You can see a list of events and classes at AFPLS.org. Now, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Healthline. I'm your host, Lynn Vaughn. Remember, you can learn all about the services of the Health and Wellness Department by phone or online. Click on Department and Agencies and then the Health and Wellness link. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.